Yes, my people, good day. Working on a Dodge Sprinter van today. Whatever comes in the door, I'll take a look at it. So this person had it at the dealership and they didn't want to mess with it. It's a no start. Does not start. Cranks, but doesn't start. It's diesel. Not really my speciality, but I know a little stuff about it. But I put some time into it and look what I found. So I keep on getting codes for the fuel pressure solenoid. And it is saying that there's an open circuit. So what I did was I went to the solenoid in the back, which is back here, and I unplugged it and um, just look at the pins. And then I opened this ohm, the sensor. It says two pin just to make sure it's not reading open. It isn't. And then I also looked at the plug and nothing look crazy. Everything look in order. Nothing look crimped or kinked. But I did notice this. Somebody was trying to do something there. So what I did was, look, I went to the ECU, undid the plug, found the pins, which is pin 4 and pin 52. And then I ohmed across this. With, it plugged in up front and it was reading open. So there is an open circuit. So what I did next was, you see my jumper lead here, right? I went from each wire on the plug to here. And then I checked for continuity. And sure enough, one of the wires, pin number four, the red with the white, was open. It's broken. So I'm like, where am I going to find that now? All the way from back here through the firewall. Coming through here. This is the harness. Into there. Going all the way back. How am I going to find that? So I started just looking around, looking around. And I was like, all right, listen. What's going on here? You see this piece of metal? And then I see the harness and this is just kind of flimsy. And I look and I saw a little piece. I cut this open here, but I saw a little piece of copper. So I was like, if I'm going to cut this thing open to try to find the wire, because I was going to own from here to there. I said, let me start where I see some copper. So I cut it open, peel it back. And sure enough, can you see the damage is to you see the color of that wire? There is damage. Let me get the pick. See that? See the damage right there? And it's a red with a white wire. And it is a red with a white wire on the plug back there. And look at that. See that? That is broken right there. Yep. So there is no signal. So now I'm hoping when I fix this, this thing will fire up and I'll get fuel pressure. Should. It's related to it. But. This is what I talk about with diagno diagnosing electrical problems. It takes a whole day and a half checking everything, tracing everything, but then it takes a few seconds to fix the wire. So it was just rubbing up against like so, because it probably lost the clip or whatever, and eventually it cut. See? Simple as that. Cut. Cut, cut. So I'm going to join these up and then see if I can get this thing to fire up. Let's see. All right. There it is. I fixed it soldered it. I'm going to heat shrink that. Can't get heat shrink over this one. So I'll tape this one right here. And then now we're going to ohm it. I plugged it back in back here. Let's go inside and check. So, all right. So we are on pin four and pin 52. When I had ohmed it out there, I was reading like, um, we call it four ohms. So we in there, we in here. So we in there, we're reading now. 4.6 ohms. So we got readings. Yeah, boy. So now it's time for the moment of truth. I clear the codes. I'm going to turn the key now. I see if this thing fire up. I see if it is the end of the tunnel. You know what I mean? We as technicians are always working towards the end of the tunnel. You understand? All right, let's go. to see if there's any fuel coming to the injector. Should be getting fuel now. Oh, ear boy. Ear, ear, all day, every day, ear. All right, that's good. High pressure pump working, working now. This one, this one. Oh crap, oh crap them all. Crap them. Release the ear. Diesel don't like ear in the ear in the fuel. We'll try that again. You know, you're not gonna, it wouldn't just give it up so easy, you know? You have to still work for it. It wouldn't just fire right up. Vroom. You have to 
give you a little. But that's okay. Let's go again. See if they are spitting, yeah? Spit, 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 spit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be patient. Alright, see what's going on, you know? Pressure. Come to fuel pressure. All right, tighten up back all the lines because for all of a sudden I lose fuel pressure. So tighten up back all the lines and we'll go from there. Look at ear, yeah, son. Yeah, look at ear in the line somewhere, but that's okay. That's okay. This thing too sensitive. If it not have, if it not backed up fuel pressure, it cut the fuel and all these type things. It's okay. Let's go again. Ship couldn't fix that. <laughs> hey, for yourself, man. Give thanks to life. So happy that this thing, you know, running a little bit rough, but it's actually running. Yeah, we can smooth the rest of it out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah, man, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Let's go.